War in Ukraine has entered into its 46th day. Civilian evacuations moving forward in patches of this war-torn eastern Ukraine. Just a day after, remember, a missile struck the Kramatorsk train station. 52 people killed, 100 sustaining injuries in the deadly attack. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky demanded a tough global response to Friday's train station attack in the Kramatorsk, calling it a latest example of Russian war crimes. Although Russia denied taking responsibility for the attack, President Zelensky of Ukraine has also now met, meanwhile, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and that in Kyiv. The two leaders discussed UK's long-term support to Ukraine, including a new package of financial and military aid. Meanwhile, Zelensky has said Ukraine is still ready to continue negotiations with Moscow that have been stalled since the Bucha atrocities. The ends have been left. I can see fruit. And India today has its reporters on the ground in the war zone. One of the first hit by airstrikes and missiles, the city of Mykolaiv, is now in ruins. India today's Mosabi Singh is on the ground, bringing you this ground report. It's a residential area that has been bombed by the Russians. Sataslav is trying to pick up the pieces, the shattered pieces of his life on the debris that he's standing. This is his home, which was bombarded. His wife is, has suffer, suffered grievous injuries and she is in the hospital. You can see that how Sataslav on the outskirts of Mykolaiv is picking up small articles uh, of his house. Uh, you can see that a book is lying and uh, various articles, uh, uh, notes that they had collected, his clothes and dryer and he's come to feed his cat here but life has come to a standstill after his house was converted into a debris after a bombardment from the air. You can see his wife was right there uh, who was buried under the debris. She suffered her head injuries and this is the scene on the outskirts of a village in Mikulai. You can see behind me uh, houses after houses have been bombarded. Clearly a residential area and this war is ravaging and actually destroying many lives. Sataslav, how difficult was it for you? This is your t-shirt. Майка была в шкафу гардеробе, в под... находилась как раз в прихожей, куда попала бомба. ACDC, моя любимая группа. Она была в шкафу купе, вот это все вещи вот в таком состоянии сейчас, что в шкафу были. Все в шкафу. Все, что в шкафу было, вот это единственная курточка осталась, которую в шкафу мы ее отмыли, отстирали. Джинсы там еще кое-какие, а так... Туфли, ботинки находились, они полностью расплавились буквально. Кожаная обувь была полностью вся расплавленная. То есть вот это удар был такой страшный, что металл был поплавленный. Вот металл побитый, это же металлический каркас на крыше был. То есть это все черное было. Сейчас дожди посмывали чуть-чуть. So there you can see a baby uh, cushion and a mattress that is lying. The, he is telling that his entire house has broken down as the as the missile uh, as the bomb fell on his house. So, uh, Sasha, what is he saying? No, он говорил вот эта футболка, это футболка. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this is uh, t-shirts of my, of my favorite group. So. Stood after that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it was shelved inside, uh, inside, inside the place where uh, it was uh, thrown uh, bomb. So uh, I, I, I took a couple of things, like clothes. It's it. Uh, everything is uh, inside of there. So. No, he told about the house that the house was bombed and there was air raids. Yes, uh, when uh, uh, when. Uh, he was uh, walking, it was like at uh, 8 o'clock maybe, uh, and uh, because of, uh, he heard uh, like some shoot, like uh, some uh, uh, so bombs and they, with his wife, was coming inside and underground. So uh, after that, uh, maybe at 12 o'clock, they go away just to check, uh, it was broken windows. So uh, at 12 o'clock again they hear some voices and uh, they go inside, uh, some noises and uh, his wife, wife Nadia, he was uh, lying down in the underground, 
just uh, took on hiding and uh, Svetoslav, he was just standing up waiting what, what will happen. So he, he heard two, uh, two, voice, two noises from uh, Avia, from airplane, and after this two, two punch, uh, two times punch, like bombs. Bombs falling. Falling down, yeah. So bombs are raining hell in this entire area. You can see houses completely devastated and destroyed. Uh, the One girl actually died and several were injured in this village. We cannot disclose the name of the village to you, but uh, the, the entire village has been deserted. People have left and fled their homes, it, which is now being considered one of the largest displaced, human displacements of humans uh, in this entire Russian and Ukraine war. With video journalist Parminda, this is Mosmi Singh in Mikulai for India Today.